name is Lisa Smith and I am one of the matchmakers here at Midwest Matchmaking. Today I am going to talk about some um, dating mistakes that we want you to avoid. So if you are in the dating scene, you probably know all too well that you only get one shot to make a first impression. Um, it's generally believed that you actually only have seven seconds to make that impression. So not a lot of time. Um, failing to make a positive impression from the very beginning of your date could hurt your chances for a second date. So on a first date, putting your best foot forward is just really important. Um, it's important to, it kind of determines whether you will have a good first date, whether you guys will have a positive connection, and um, it really determines whether you will get to a second date and even beyond that. Um, so luckily, if you have like awkward first date jitters, you have the entire date to get comfortable. And then you have these tips too that I'm about to give you to uh, make a good first impression and hopefully keep you from making these mistakes if you are. And, um, and beyond that, hopefully then your first dates will lead to even more second dates and third and who knows what else. Um, so the first date that I want to mention, um, it should be pretty obvious, I hope, to most of you, but we do see it on occasion with our clients, um, and that is being fashionably late to your date. So we totally understand that life gets in the way, and in the way sometimes we work with hundreds of busy professionals in the Midwest, um, many whom are re running businesses or are single parents, and then also, of course, trying to juggle um, a personal life for themselves. So. Typically, our clients' calendars are pretty jam-packed, but still there's no excuse for being late to a first date. You um, might think that turning up late to a first date will give you the appearance that you're busy and you have a lot of stuff going on, which um, that is great. People are looking for that in a the partner. They don't want someone who is doesn't have anything going on in their life, but um, still being on time just gives the impression that you respect the person that you're meeting and you respect their time and appreciate their time as well. Um, so be on time for your date or arrive early to show them that you care and that meeting them also means something to you. Um, you get bonus points too if you get there early and you wait for them up at the front door. Um, the next tip that I want to give, another really common one that we see all the time, is sharing too much on your first date. So um, first dates are a great opportunity to kind of break the ice and start getting to know each other. You should be open and talkative, but just be careful not to share too much. Um, and really need to keep the conversation positive. So avoid talking about like past relationships or bringing up your exes. Um, nothing is more off-putting to someone looking for love than hearing about your past relationships, especially on a first date. There's a time and a place for that and the first date is not it. Um, on a first date, the person that you're meeting, they want to be able to like picture a life with you um, and that's hard to do if they're picturing you with your ex. The next one is, this is something that we don't see very often, but um, still worth mentioning because it does happen. I think with this one, nerves kind of play a big factor. And that one is um, having one too many drinks. So we always say the best first date is just a drink or two anyways. Don't stick around for dinner um, or really do anything beyond that. Just kind of do first impressions, see if there's a connection. So um, having one too many drinks, if you're trying to make a positive first impression on your date, then keep an eye on your alcohol consumption. Not only that, but also take into account um, what, you've had, what you've eaten so far that day so that the first like glass of wine or the first beer doesn't go right to your head. You want to be able to focus on what your date has to say, um, and you also want them to feel like they have your total focus. So stay in control. Um, show your date that you're confident and composed and considerate and just overall a fun person to be around. Um, next tip is talking about money and income. Again, time and a place for this. The first date is not it. 
Um, how much money you make can creep into discussion, especially because oftentimes on a first date, you two are getting to know each other and getting to know what you do for work, and that kind of goes hand in hand. So um, how much money you or your date earns in your career, though, should be avoided at all costs on a first date. It's really just a sensitive issue for some people. You could end up offending them or just at the very least kind of making them feel uncomfortable. So. Um, just definitely save that one for, I mean, you don't need to talk about it at all when you're dating. I don't think it's definitely something for down the line. Um, if you do see things progressing seriously, um, the next one is dressing too casually. So again, you want to make a good first impression. This is one of the first things that they are going to see about you. So um, first, of course, take into consideration where you're going for your first date because that will kind of dictate how you dress. So while you don't need to put on like the most glamorous outfit in your wardrobe, a little bit of effort does go a really long way. Make sure everything's clean, good hygiene, um, your clothes are ironed, like I said, clean. Um, look like you made an effort. Your date will appreciate that. Um, don't look like you just rolled out of bed. I have occasionally too had clients who go right to their date from the gym. So great that you're working out and staying active and healthy, but um, don't wear your gym clothes to a date. Um, gentlemen, you can wear like a pair of nice like dark wash jeans and a, a collared button up shirt and then um, ladies, it's similar for you, a dark, nice pair of jeans and um, like a nice blouse and heels. So nothing over the top, super easy outfits to pick out, but um, yeah, avoid the gym clothes and avoid anything like dirty or with holes in it or, you know, should be pretty obvious, but sometimes it's not. Um, and then last but of course not least, try to keep the first date conversation really light and friendly. The um, whole point of a 